Welcome to our 30 minutes mellow yoga practice. So grateful to see you. We'll start on our back, maybe having some padding. And we're starting with some windshield wipers. So feet as wide as the mat, arms along the ears, and just a little bit from side to side. Thank you for coming back to your yoga practice. Individualize it. So we'll take first really good care of ourselves. We want to feel better after our practice than before or during our practice. So we're listening with compassion to this very wise inner spaciousness. Take the knees together, feet wide. And just for a moment here, one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, tuning into the quality of our prana, our aliveness here. There's moments, days where we feel strong. Maybe we had a really good night of sleep and those last few days were pretty peaceful, no major changes. Now maybe our prana feels more vulnerable, less energy, and we can make this even more gentle. And maybe we feel really good and we can add to the practice. So let's hug the knees, hands behind the knees. Circular motions. Both legs together here. The breath and our state of consciousness as we practice is primary. So also checking in quality of the thinking. See if you can be present more and more. Let's do the circles in the other direction. As we're breathing here, nostril breathing, longer breath. A little longer breath than everyday breath. And if it's possible, breathe through the nose. Take the ankles up and we're going to flex the feet and point the feet. Sensing here the muscles hugging the bones. So engaging this way, especially as we take the lower legs parallel to the floor and choose flexion of the feet or pointing of the feet, one or the other, but put energy in your feet. Hands down to the hips, neutral spine as we exhale, right heel towards bottom of the mat. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, left heel to the bottom of the mat. So we're repeating this way. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up. Your breath, your cadence, and as we're extending one leg, really feel those muscles hugging the bones. This is a very safe posture for the whole spine as we're on to the floor this way. Nice neutral spine. And if we start to feel fatigue, extend the legs more up towards the sky. Let's do one more time each side. 
and then hug the knees and if you want legs a little wider here breathing reminder nostril breathing and longer breath conscious breath for the duration of the inhale feel the air flowing in and for the duration of the exhale feel the air flowing out so here hug the knees and if it's okay on the neck forehead towards the knees this is the cosmic egg arms next to the ground this way towards the hips and as you inhale arms legs up and head resting on the mat and as you exhale, it could be hands behind the upper thighs, forehead towards the knees if that's okay on your neck, arms parallel to the floor. Inhale. Now if you want a little bit at an angle, incline with the legs. Exhale. If it's a lot on the head or neck, just keep the head down. Inhale, out. And as you exhale, hug the legs, maybe arms parallel to the floor. Inhale. So choose the incline of the legs that is right for your inner strength. Exhale. Inhale out. Exhale. Hugging in. Inhale. Full in breath. Exhale. And two more breaths this way. So especially the legs are heavy, more towards the ceiling for something gentle. Nice. So just hugging the right leg, left heel at the bottom of the mat, and as we open the right arm out to the side, here coming into your twist. Breath awareness. As we tune into the breath, we tune into our life force, our prana. We tune into our vitality. It is within the breath and that is guiding us. Let's roll onto the back and we're going to do a bridge. So place the heels right underneath the knees, hands down towards the heels, feet hip width apart, hands down towards the heels, and if you want, bring the palms together, perhaps interlacing the fingers. And you can check with your shoulders, make sure this is okay. And as you inhale, lift the hips, and with the exhale, swing the hips to the left. So the right hip is a little lower. Inhale, bring the hips up. Exhale, swing the hips to the right, left hip lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, swing the hips left, right hip lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, swing the hips right, left hip lower. And continuing this way. Inhale up, exhale to the side. So here we're integrating breath, awareness, physical dimension all together. We're integrating our ability to 
observe the thoughts, observe all those dimensions. And as we connect to the breath, within the breath, we connect to that formless, infinite spaciousness that is inside of us. And it surrounds us. Now as we inhale, hips up, and then exhale, hips down, let's hug the legs. Right heel at the bottom of the mat, and we're twisting. As we feel the movement of the breath, we connect to that inner spaciousness. And we connect not just to the inner spaciousness, but also the outer spaciousness. And our perception really expands to all that there is. And that's what we'll do now. Uh, variation of the sun salutation, sensing the inner sunshine as we connect to the outer sunshine. So roll onto your back, hug the knees, and it could be to transition to hands and knees, maybe just roll up, maybe to the side, and then hands and knees position. So we're going to do the sun salutation, starting first with here into what I've renamed as the carrot. So plank pose, wrists underneath the shoulders, and this is our carrot posture. I wanted to give the name of a vegetable to a posture. So here we go, carrot posture. It can be done with knees on the mat. This is our baby carrot. It could be straight legs. This is our carrot. And as we exhale from here down, we're facing dog. And of course we can Bring the feet a little closer to the wrist, just in case that feels better. But watch out to just do as little as we can if we're moving those feet in. So a few times, inhale into carrot, and it can be baby carrot. And as we exhale, here we go down, we're facing dog. And a few more times, inhale, shoulders over wrist, exhale, hips back. Two more breaths. Nice. Inhale into our carrot of choice. And as we exhale all the way down to the belly, point the feet, inhale, cobra. And as we exhale down, we're facing dog. So we're bringing that right foot to the inside of the right hand. And it can always be leg up, right leg up and then onto the knees, right foot there. 
Inside the right hand, top of the mat, back knee down, torso up, inhale, maybe arms up. Opening the front of the body here to receive the sunshine. And as we exhale, hands down. Step forward, maybe lift off the back leg, inhale. And as we exhale, left foot, top of the mat and fall. Let's drop the hips. As the hips go low, torso up, inhale, come all the way up. Inhale, maybe a little bit of back bending. And as we exhale, hands to the outside of the feet. Feel free to bend the knees a lot here. Right leg up, inhale. And then right foot at the bottom of the mat. Weight in the palms, downward dog. Maybe single leg, downward dog. Inhale. And as we exhale, any crocodile, it can be knees on the mat for something more gentle. Inhale, a back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. We're awakening the inner sunshine as it tunes with the outer sunshine. So your way to bring that left foot to the inside of your left hand, and remember it can be knees down and then left foot down, back knee down, torso up, inhale, arms up, breathing, one long breath here. So we're lifting the ribcage, a little bit of spaciousness along the waist. Exhale, hands down. It could be just stepping forward or lift the back leg, inhale. And as we exhale, right foot, top of the mat and fall. Drop the hips, inhale, torso, arms up, a little bit of a back bend safely and as we exhale, bowing to the sun, hands outside the feet. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, left foot, bottom of the mat, weight in our palms. Inhale, downward dog or single leg downward dog. And as we exhale, any crocodile. Inhale, a nurturing back bend. And as we exhale, a nurturing forward bend. Breathing in. Breathing out. Draw the hips back. Relaxing the head, and we can sense the space created here between the vertebrae. So let's take again, right foot to the inside of the right hand, exhale, now this time back heel down, and then torso arms up, inhale. See if you can go maybe a little bit more into a back bend. And as we exhale, open to the side, Virabhadrasana B. Peace Warrior, inhale. And as we exhale, hands along the front foot. Bring that right foot a little more under the hips. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot, top of the mat and fold. Relax completely upper body and we can bend the knees, drop the hips. Inhale, torso arms up, the front of the heart receiving sunshine. Exhale, fold forward. Now it's the back of the heart receiving sunshine. Right leg up, inhale, 
Right foot, bottom of the mat, single leg downward dog or downward dog. Inhale, exhale, crocodile. Inhale, your favorite back bend. Exhale, favorite forward bend. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, your way to bring that left foot to the inside of our left hand. Back heel down, torso, arms up, inhale. Maybe a little bit more of a back bend. And as you exhale, open to the side. Virabhadrasana B. Peace Warrior, inhale. And as we exhale, hands down. Lift up the back leg, inhale, upper body totally relaxed. Exhale, right foot, top of the mat, and fold. We're dropping the hips. Inhale, torso, arms up. Safely standing back bend. And as we exhale, bowing to the universe, hands outside the feet. Left leg up. Inhale. And as we exhale, left foot, bottom of the mat. Single leg downward dog, inhale. And as we exhale, crocodile. Inhale, any back bending. And as we exhale, any forward bending. So let's come to a child's pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. So we can sense that inner sunshine. to your hands and knees and as we exhale all the way to the belly forehead on the mat to begin so extend the arms towards the back wall straight legs toes arms fingers back towards the back wall as we exhale, lift the head. If it's a lot, keep the head down. Shoulders higher than the ankles. Shalabhasana, locust. And as you inhale, arms, legs wide. And as you exhale, shoulders higher. Come up, arms in, legs in. And you choose maybe forehead stays on the mat. Inhale out. Exhale, lift the shoulders, long neck. Inhale out. Exhale, bring the arms, legs in, shoulders higher. Three more breaths. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in, nice. Hands next to the ribs. Inhale, upper facing dog. And as we exhale, downward facing dog. Let's move here first. Feet as wide as the mat. Bend the knees, drop the hips all the way to one side towards the heels. And then switch side. So the outer foot 
the heel will be flat on the mat. All the way to one side, twist, twist, the hips, the lower body, and then second side. Very nice. Inhale into our carrot. Exhale, any crocodile. Inhale, back bending. And as we exhale, downward facing dog. So your favorite hip opener. For many of us, it's pigeon. So it could be right leg up and then right knee on that right side. So releasing the upper body. Now maybe you prefer figure four stretch or double pigeon. Any hip opener that works really well for you. Breath awareness. The duration of the in-breath here, complete attention, attention on the duration of the in-breath. And then complete attention on the duration of the out-breath. So we're going to come to a neutral posture. If you're on your back, blissful baby posture. If you're in pigeon, downward dog or single leg downward dog. And then coming to your second side, so it could be left leg up, left knee to that left wrist for pigeon. And if you are doing figure four stretch, it's the left ankle in front of that right upper thigh. Aware of the beginning, middle, and of your in-breath. Aware of the beginning, middle, and of your out-breath. Very nice. So coming out of the posture, maybe blissful baby posture if we're on the back. Otherwise, single leg downward dog or downward dog. And then take a squatting position so we can walk the feet outside the hands from downward dog. And if we're on our back, blissful baby posture. Let's sit down. If you were in a squat with hips up and then blissful baby posture. Inhale, maybe legs a little wider. 
And as we exhale, cross right upper thigh on top of the left. Twisting here, open the right arm out, legs to the left side. Relax completely, long in breath. Long out breath. Onto the back. Spread the legs. Inhale. Cross left upper thigh on top of the right. Open the left arm out to the side. Full inhalation. Full exhalation. On to the back. And as we exhale, hug the knees. And coming to Shavasana. Neutral position with the whole body opening up palms to the sky to receive the sunshine. Gratitude for each of you. Gratitude for the infinite, formless, luminous spaciousness. And may all forms be safe, healthy, at peace, free, and joyful in the whole cosmos. Namaste.